Well, we are on our way home from Cheyenne, Wyoming. What a trip. Holy crap. This wow. has been an adventurous few days. Yes, it was even, yeah, not even a week. Or, Starting with yeah. us being snowed in for 48 hours yeah. in a Motel 6. Yeah. yeah. We didn't plan on that, but you don't yeah. generally plan on getting snowed in in a I Motel 6. I just glad we had a place to go. So we, we got the last around. room. Yeah. So that was, there were people yeah. sleeping in cars and trucks along the side yeah. of the highway with guys sleeping in those. This big stupid blizzard came along, even though it's almost June. Right. It's Wyoming, and that yes. happens in Wyoming. Exactly. They said like four feet of snow fell. Now, it didn't all end up on the freeway. Some of it did. Most of it ended up in Nebraska because there was also wind blowing yes. and a half a dozen tornadoes or so. Uh. So most of the snow ended up in Nebraska, but the foot and a half or so that didn't end up in Nebraska ended up on, on, uh, on I-80. Uh, yeah, yes. Cheyenne Hill back yes. there, and so they had to clear all that out, and the whole freeway was closed for 200 miles, yes. and we were stuck here for two days. Yes, <laughs> but we made it through, it. and we made it through to go see the big boy. Now, the first day when we got there, there was a foot of water <laughs> in the shops underneath yeah. the big boy and they the had to pump that melting. out yes. and the snow was melting so there was that little piece of adventure too mm -hmm. but finally finally the very next day we got to see what we came to see mm -hmm. the big boy oh. in all of its glory it's wow. all been taken apart and the restoration's going along and yes. we got to talk to the steam crew and wander mm -hmm. around and touch the big boy and mm -hmm. uh, yes just amazing so check this out here's the current progress on the big boy restoration project in Cheyenne Wyoming Well, a couple of years ago, they pulled the big boy out of Los Angeles and brought it up here to Cheyenne for rebuilding. And we've been threatening to get up here and, mm -hmm. and show you guys where they're at with that. And we finally got a chance. We came up here for depot days <laughs> and visited the big boy in its natural environment, the back shops over there at the Roundhouse. The shops here in Cheyenne used to just be massive. They had to be because this is where they worked on their big engines like the big boy but it was just a huge huge facility and only part of it remains but uh, enough that they can keep their steam engine fleet running known as the heritage fleet there's actually five locomotives here but realistically only three of them will ever run only mm. three of them are intended to run this is the Challenger, which is awaiting a rebuild here. But this is what has attracted us. A big boy, they're rebuilding 4014 here in the shops. And we came here to get a bit of a progress report <laughs> and share that with you guys on just where they're at here on 4014. That's the big boy. Well, the engine's so been the completely pulled apart. Frame, it's I kind guess. of spread all dismantled. over the building. There's a couple of tenders here because the Challenger's tender is over here as well. They really don't need to do much with the tender. It's in pretty good shape. These tenders are called centipede tenders. They have five rigidly mounted axles and then a pivotable wheel truck. So they're, <laughs> well, they don't like to go through corners, but they can handle a lot of weight, which is necessary because of their size. Look at that boiler. Oh my goodness. Uh, you know, at this point you can see why it is the world's largest steam locomotive. It's just absolutely a massive boiler. And the boiler is the thing that needs all of the work, or at least most of the work. Mm. It was not in excellent condition. No. So they have started a lot of the boiler rebuilding here. You can see that they've put in a new tube sheet here. That's very critical. And they're replacing a lot of stay bolts as well as some of the sections of the actual firebox. 
These stay bolts connect between the outside of the boiler and the actual firebox inside the boiler and they equalize the pressure so the boiler doesn't blow up. <laughs> so they're very, very critical. And you can see that in the past, some of them have been replaced with a technique called deep penetration welding. It isn't what you really want to do, but sometimes you have no choice. But that technique works just fine, and in fact, they're going to use deep penetration welding on some of the new stay bolts because, well, they just need to. The metal won't support it. You can see that all of the drive wheels have been removed. They're actually off in Strasburg, Pennsylvania right now getting turned and fit with new tires. <laughs> uh, yeah, metal tires, not rubber. This is the front engine unit. It's been pulled out from underneath the frame. This is the articulated section. Actually, when you think about it, this thing is the equivalent of the 844, a complete northern, and it's the hinged section just on the front of the engine. The cylinders here are being bored out oversized to get them to be perfectly round, and that means that brand new pistons are being constructed to go into the cylinders so that they will fit properly. And they have piston rings and so on, just like in a gasoline engine. And all of that is under construction right now. Now this guide right here is going to be replaced. All four of those guides, all new springs, a lot of new parts going into this unit. And this entire giant frame is one casting and fortunately it's perfect. There are no cracks or flaws anywhere in it or that would be a major, major problem. But look at this. This is one continuous cast iron casting and it's flawless. And they've built these neat little dollies so that they can move it around easily. Now over here is our old friend 844. We just got back mm -hmm. from chasing that guy through Idaho. What a beautiful locomotive and it was fun to be able to get up close and personal with it. Especially where we just spent all that time chasing it around Idaho. It's cool that the whole inside of this engine has been rebuilt just as flawlessly as everything else. It's just beautifully done. Are, are you ready to fire it up? <laughs> yeah, turn it on. It looks, I mean, lesson. easily, uh, one can easily figure out what all these controls do, right? It should be a piece of cake to just drive this thing around. It's also been fitted with controls for a diesel engine. This because a lot of times it has to go out multiple unit with a diesel engine just for dynamic braking. And as we mentioned, we are just back from Idaho where we were chasing this thing around. Sure pretty. It's a beautiful locomotive. We had a fun trip up there chasing it through Idaho in the rain. <laughs> just made the steam stand out. I'll see. We had a fun time. Mm Now in that Idaho show, I mentioned that they're now filtering and softening the water that they run in this engine. This is Ed Dickens, and in an upcoming show, he's going to explain to us how this water filtration system works. He also shared with us the neat videos that he shoots here with his iPhone from the cab of the engine. Wonder what kind of arm twisting we'd have to do to get him to share that footage with us. But it's just one of those things that you gotta strategize what you're gonna fix next. That's Ted Schulte, fireman. <laughs> Outstanding fireman. No kidding. And 
it's not as easy as it looks. No. Like firing the steam locomotive. And they have a machine shop that travels around with them. In fact, they have all kinds of stuff that they travel around with because, well, you just can't get parts out on the road, can you? <laughs> no, not really. So that is the current progress on the big boy. Wow. That thing is massive. I mean, I knew it was big, like the 844, but yeah. Well, we got to play with the 844. Yes, it was like seeing an old friend. I'm like, yeah. oh, look at it. Because we were just we were just chasing it around Idaho just right. a few you know a couple of weeks ago. Exactly. And now we're sitting there and there it is just parked. And, and it's home. And we're in the cab and we're going, well this is cool. <laughs> yeah, they had a platform so you could walk up uh, and see the controls. Yeah, they wouldn't let me drive it. I said, Can I have the keys? And they, eh, no, <laughs> and it, it, you can't just start it that way either. Uh, yeah. You need a match, not keys. <laughs> A little more complicated. <laughs> it takes all day to turn it on. So yeah. no, you can't drive it around. Process. But we got to see the big boy. And that's the amazing thing. And we got to talk to the guys on the crew here yeah. and find out the progress on it. And I am just stunned uh -huh. at the amount of work that's been done. Already. And how, I, I, I hesitate to say this, how close they're getting to actually having the yeah, thing running. They are almost, it, they're getting there. It doesn't look like it's close. No. Because it's scattered all over the shop. But if you know anything about building engines, you know that a magical thing happens at just about this point in the restoration. You start putting it back together. It comes together. Actually. And that's the point they're at right now. Right. They're starting to put it back together. Right. And uh, the, when they finish that process, the next point is to throw a match in the firebox and go for a ride. Right. So, does that mean it's going to happen right away? No. I wish we could be there when they fire it off. We are going to be there when they I fire it off. I would love to be there when they start Well, they're it. cool with it. We just, if it's in the middle of winter, this road will be closed again. Oh, yeah. And we won't be able to get through again. At least for two days. But if they, if they fire it up at some point in time when the freeway is open here, we are going to be there. Mm -hmm. And we are going to uh, be thoroughly amazed at all of that. Yeah. And everybody's hope is that it will make the 150th anniversary for the driving of the Golden Spike no. in 2019. Yep. Which isn't that far away. It's not that far it away, but you know like what? It, they're do, they're, these guys know what they're doing. They've got the support of this huge corporation, Union Pacific, who is just so amazing and uh, willing to make this project happen, willing right. to do what it's going to take to make this project happen. Right. And that locomotive will be running soon and maybe in time for the 150th anniversary. Right. Well, and cool. wow. Yeah. All I can say is wow. And in the meantime, we're going to continue to track how well it's coming along. Yeah and we will probably get stuck in one more, one or two more blizzards as we're trying to get out there yeah, and watch just, all that. Yeah. But Wyoming. holy crap. So you will be there too as all of this takes place. Mm -hmm. Well, if you haven't been over to the channel, do pop on over to the channel. There's just about 200 movies. Pretty Not close. quite, but pretty darn close mm -hmm. to 200 movies. This one, right. is this the 200th? I don't think so. I have to look. I think this is like the 199th. Okay. But anyway, we're really close <laughs> to 200. And what an, what an appropriate thing that it's the big boy. Right. So get on over to the channel. Scope out all this fun and wonderful and interesting caca that's going on over there. Right. And if you're not a subscriber already, you want to become a subscriber already. And you can do that by clicking on the blue button. Zoink! You see this blue button right here that says subscribe? I hope you see it. Subscribe. Uh, yeah. If you click on that, <laughs> that will make you a subscriber. And then you'll get a text message on your cell phone you saying, those idiots just uploaded some more screwing around. Right. And we did. Mm -hmm. And you can now watch it. And that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here again in one week where we will still be in Cheyenne yes. screwing around. See you then. Bye-bye. Thank you.